I'm gonna be singing the very first time. I'm really nervous. It's gonna be a disaster. Why do you need to be that critical? Sing the damn song. I'm trying so hard to become something, to have a career. I switched majors. It's a good third major you switch. You'll never meet eye to eye with Russian parents. Even if you're up here, they still want you to be here. You always put me down. You're never, you're never proud. Like, everything I do, you're never proud. Bring some tequila. My name is Anastasia Karanaya. I'm 25 years old. Hello, gorgeous. People, when they first meet me, they say, I thought you were such a bitch when I first saw you. Yeah. And I'm like, why? And they're like, you have this bitch face. I don't see it, but whatever. But when they get to know me, they're like, wow, you're actually like a really nice girl. I'm really good. I was three years old when I moved here from Ukraine. My family decided to move to America because they wanted me to have a good education. My dad was a director of psychiatric facilities, and my mom was an actress, and they both sacrificed their careers to come here. Liquor first. Shut the They say Russians are all alcoholics. Let's go. We're not alcoholics, but we do like to drink vodka. Here you go. I just want to laugh and scream and party. I do believe it. If it's fun, do it. Look at this caterpillar you got going on on your face. So what are you gonna take in school this year? Political science, and now I'm going for speech. Why is it taking you so long to decide what you want to do? Because we have options. Because I'm indecisive, and this is America, damn it, and I have options. I've been in college for five years. My parents pay for school. They've always said to me, when, since you're in school, we'll take care of you. It was never an issue. So our parents Why didn't have the wrong? option of being 26 years old, still single, no yeah. family, doing whatever they want. We do, which yeah. is the good thing about it. I'm trying so hard to become something, to have a career, but I keep switching majors. I don't listen to my parents. When they would tell me, okay, just stick to this major, I'll say, oh, just shut up already. This isn't, this isn't your life, this is my future. Anastasia just has to pick what career she wants in her future and just, you know, get it over with. My parents came here for a reason. And my dad always told me, make sure that what you do, you like doing. Why don't you go for like an x-ray technician? I don't tell me what the hell to go because for. Find out what the hell you want to do with your damn life. I'm looking at my future. But the thing is, the most hurt. Russian women are dependent on the guy. Forget that. It's like a typical freaking Russian. That's exactly how these yeah. people think. It's so annoying. She's determined, and that's going to get her through it. More power to me. Yeah. High five, sister. People need to stop doubting me. I didn't drop out of college. I'm not a dropout. It's not going to happen. Like, worry about you and yourself, sweetheart. On the DL, you can pay and get a degree for like a few thousand. Yeah, you can. Russians do that. Russian. What? We're the biggest Russian schemers. Video. You crazy? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Down, down. Three step and jump. On this earth, I have determined to live every day as a beautiful person. My name is Renata Krumer. I'm 46 years old, and I was born in Belarus. I left 20 years ago, and I'm so happy I'm here. OK, listen to me. Figure out the right way. My husband, Boris, look like a Russian gangster. He can look very aggressive and tough. If you can figure it out right, I'll come back, and I'll figure it out right. But inside, he's my cookie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a lot of jobs. I host the events. <laughs> and I host one of the most popular radio show on Brighton Beach. It's an incredible experience. I'm just going to change very quickly and we'll rehearse, okay? Trump, <laughs> Boris and I are about to host a very big event, the opening of a beautiful Russian restaurant, The Thousand and One Nights. And I'm going to be singing there the very first time. I'm really nervous. We желаем счастья. Stop. Stop. Take the smile away from your face. Take the smile away. It's no good. No good. Okay, listen. you singing on the same breath. That's no good. In Russian culture, for men to feel like a man, he needs to be in control. <sighs> See, you don't have enough breathing power, OK? I just want her to be perfect. They're all going to be watching you. I want to hear you. You understand? I want to hear you. If this performance will be good, we'll definitely book more business and, and make more money. That's a fact. 
Don't hold it like that. Hold it like this. Okay? I know he want me to shine, but Boris is absolutely terrible teacher. Sing the damn song. Okay, go. Мы желаем счастья вам. Счастья вам. I actually got sick of partying a few years ago. That upsets my heart. So now, I like dinners and lounges. I prefer that over clubs, because clubs is like the same scene, you know? But you know drink. what happens to me when I go to a lounge? I have like a drink or two, and then I want to go out to the club and dance. I'm like contradicting what I'm saying, but I look so okay. How's Papa? How's Papa? Papa is okay. I meet my mom for dinner a few times a week. My mom is always on my case about something, anything. How are you? I'm happy. Tell me about your college. What kind of right now major you take it? Speech. Speech therapy? Yeah. I switched majors. It's a third major you switch. Me and your dad, you support. But we get old. We love you. You know how we love you. But uh, coming time, be adult and responsible for your life. This is my dream for my daughter. My mom wants me to finish school, have a career, get married, and have kids. Russian moms expect a lot out of their kids. Anastasia, you have to care about your future family, children about your uh, husband. Each of us do this. Just have a little faith in me. Like, I'm not going to throw your little dream away. I just want her to be quiet already and shut up and just to see that I can do it. And I don't want her to feel like I'm some loser child of hers. I'm 25, like, I'm not that old. I want to be independent, my own money, my own place. I want to, you know, be able to raise a family and have my own career. I just need you to be patient with me. Just give me some time. The big event is coming up, so I want to go and check the place where we're going to perform. I feel like Barbara Streisand. I'm not nervous at all about performing in general, but I'm a little bit nervous about singing. Wow! I want loud! I want loud! Мы желаем счастья вам. Stop. Okay. It's now. better. If you're not going to do it loud, they're not going to hear what you sing and it's going to be a disaster. Our song is about being happy in spite of every obstacle. However, Boris keep criticizing me, and I'm thinking, am I happy at this time? No, I'm not. If you can close one year, you'll hear the music better. And loud, from the gut, give it to me. OK, seriously, come on. You have to tell me. Why do you need to be that critical? Because I'm a little nervous. This is still the first time I'm singing, you know? Sometimes I feel it makes me even more nervous. Think about it as a first time sexual encounter with a person who you really want to do it. So exactly the same thing. This would be pleasurable. My mom, see, she's a nag, but she's afraid to let go of me. She cannot accept that I'm growing up. That's what mothers do with daughters. See, for us guys, it's more like, are you safe? Everything's OK? Michael, but he was like, oh, you know what happened, boyfriend, this, that. You know, your mommy's little, uh, little kukla, you know what I mean? That's exactly what I am. The kukla. I switched my major a few times, and I'm still kind of torn about which path I want to take in life. Nice to meet you. Hi, how can I help you? So I decided to go and see a career counselor. Basically, I'm going to school. I'm double majoring in political science and in speech. But I'm open to see what else is out there. I want to be 100% sure that every decision that I make in my life is perfect. And I just want to make my parents proud. We're going to uh, assess your um, skills and your weaknesses in order to see where we're going to go with this. OK. Tell me about your strengths. I try to do as much as I can all at once. Describe your previous work experience. It was pretty interesting. What are you really passionate about? I'm very social, so I'm usually out with friends. That's something that's like one of my strengths, I think. What kind of college classes or subjects did you like the most? Business, law, and political science classes. Solving briefs and cases, and I was doing an amazing job at that. So you were solving cases? Right. Based on the interview, you work very well. You do make eye contact. Right. Now, with your skills assessment, what it's 
telling me. I would steer more into law. And like you I'm said. I'm really happy. I just said that's something I'm really, really interested in, and it's something I find myself not getting bored of. The last thing I want her to say is, you belong in a circus, or you can be a nurse. I don't want to be a nurse, and then I don't belong in a circus. <laughs> and please keep in touch, OK? I will. What's that? I have no idea what it is. I'm not a fruit person. No? No. You don't like papaya? No. I love it. I want to ask Svera how to deal with Boris, considering she could be a very tough cookie herself. OK, you know, this week, Thousand and One Night should be opening. This is the very first time I'm singing. I'm, I'm a little nervous. And I even was singing to my Shura. <laughs> Do you want me to sing more? She's probably thinking crazy mama, but... OK, you can sing. You can do any, anything you want. I'm not a good singer, you know. No, Boris told you that. He's my coach at this moment. Sometimes he's a little aggressive. He looks at them like Russian KGB. He is. Watch her, watch her. Russian men like to be in control. And Renata is softer, but she can push back. He thinks that he's in control. Let him be. You turn around and you do exactly what you want to do. Who cares? For this performance to go well, I must just tune out my lovely Boris. And remember, I'm going to be spectacular. So if he screams, just put a cookie in his mouth and you just sing, right? So how's everything? Good, busy. Oh, you look a little bit lose weight, no? I've been working out. I'm just looking forward to telling my mom about my experience with a career counselor. and. I'm sure she'll be happy for me. So you went to counselor, right? So say me, how it was? Um, she asked me a lot of questions. So she told me to stick with law. Really? So, so it should be good. No, but this is very serious deal about uh, how to pay for the law school. I'm going to so take out it? loans. Loans? So who, who will pay loans? Me. But having my mom not be proud of me and not be happy for me when I'm happy and excited to tell her about something, that really pissed me off. <laughs> I try and help you pay for the school, for the uh, university. Get money, 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 money. No keep money, going. money. I'm listening to you. I keep ruining my life. No, though. don't, don't, uh, don't go to stress. For... I don't want to talk about this. I'm getting like really upset right now. I don't want to talk about this. Oh, why are you upset? I'm upset. I'm upset. I don't want to talk about it. You okay, pissed me off. Go. No, I'm sorry. So I don't like being around you. I never want. I don't want to piss you off. You have to just stay alone by yourself. I just felt like I can't talk to this woman about anything. I'm just over it. I don't want to be around you. Like you don't support me and what I want to do about anything. I want to go to law school. No, That's what I want to do. Hold on. You always mention stupid <laughs> all the time. How are you gonna pay for loans? Don't worry about how I'm gonna pay for my loans, bitch. Leave, go home. This is why I hate you. This is why I don't like to be around you. You always put me down. You're never, you're never proud. Like everything I do, you're never what proud. Do you do? What do you Just say? leave me alone. That's all I want. Just leave me alone. I don't like you. You're like a mean person. You don't know how to support your daughter. You don't even know how are you gonna pay for loans. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna pay for my damn loan. I don't want your money, bitch. I don't want you to pay for. Okay, darling. Goodbye. Yeah, but, go to your husband. Bad, bad, uh, bad mood. You put me in a bad mood. <laughs> Leave. What happened with you? You can't say, wow, I'm so proud of you. You're making such a good decision in life. No, you, you know how I love you. You know how I love you all, all your okay, life. Okay, that's not love. I help you. I don't want you to help me. I'll help myself. No, right. I'm old enough okay, to help baby. myself. Okay, baby. I have Bye. to go. Bye. What's going on? I met my mom at the nail salon, and um, I started telling her about like the career counselor. So I'm telling her about it. The lady told me that, it's, that I should stick with law. I'm like, I think it's a good idea. First thing she says, what about your loans? Who's going to pay for your loans? It's like she tries to find the bad in everything. That's how parents are. They always want better, better, more. These dumb Russians, that's how Russians are. I know. It's hard to be a Russian child. It really no. is. We have all these standards. But what if, I, if like, I was a drug dealer? I'm selling crack. Why don't you sell marijuana instead? Is that how it's going to be? <laughs> There's, always... There's always an issue. Russian parents definitely have these high expectations, and it almost feels like you could never please them. What does your mom want you to do? 
jump off a cliff and fly. 